In this day and age, it's not only important to have great content, you need to have a plan of how you're gonna get it out there. We wanna get your content out to as wide of an audience as possible. And how we're gonna do that is by streaming to multiple destinations. In our previous video, we talked about the basic setup for a video go where we stream to a single destination. Now we wanna take that idea and expand upon it. We'll start by opening our video go app and then we'll select our feed. If you guys haven't watched our previous video on the basic setup for a video go, we've included a link to get you up to speed. Now that we're working with multiple destinations, we'll need to employ the use of our cloud-based management software, either ShareLink or Core. Today, we'll be using Core. In order to do that, we'll select the Settings cog followed by Cloud. That will bring up this page where you can select your cloud-based management software. The options are None, ShareLink, and Core. You might be wondering the differences between the programs, so here's a little diagram to clarify. Both ShareLink and Core support bonding, multi-platform delivery, and remote configuration. Core is the only one that supports HEVC and archiving. For our setup today, we're gonna to be using Core, so we'll go ahead and select that and log in. If you don't have a Core account already, you'll need to create one. You can do that by going to corecloud.tv and scrolling down. For most people watching this video, the basic plan will meet your needs. So now that we're logged in, we can see that we have no channels configured. That's gonna be our next step. Configured is basically a fancy word for setup. What we're doing now is we're telling our encoder, the video go, to send the video to our cloud-based management software, Core, which will in turn simultaneously deliver the video to our content delivery networks, i.e. Facebook and YouTube. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to download the Core app. We're gonna go into the App Store, type in Teradek Core, and press download. So once that downloads, we're gonna go ahead and open it and then use the same login we did previously. So this is the Core app. If we hit the hamburger button at the top left here, it will bring us to the navigation menu. This will show us our sources, destinations, any transcoding engines or anything else we might have. We'll hit sources and this will pull up a list of encoders. So we just have the video go, but if you have multiple encoders, this is where they would appear. We'll go back and we will hit destinations, toggle over to channels and then hit these three little dots up top. Then we're gonna select add channel and we'll see a full list of all our CDNs or content delivery networks. What's great about this is not only do we have this long list of CDNs that work natively in our app, we can also use our software to stream to unlimited destinations, which gives us a lot of freedom. Next, we'll hit choose page and select my timeline. If you have other pages, those would appear as options here as well. Here you can title your video and change privacy settings. We'll select add, and now we can see that the channel is added. We're gonna go back up to the three little dots here and we're gonna add another channel. So this time we wanna add YouTube. But before we get to that, we're gonna have to go to our computer and get it set up. So I'm gonna open up my browser and go to studio.youtube.com. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll find the go live button, we'll hit that. That's gonna take us to the YouTube studio and we're going to select new stream. So we'll call this video go stream. We will set it to public. We'll also add a description here. You can do things like schedule it for later or add a custom thumbnail as well. We will select yes, it's made for kids. And then we'll go down here and create stream. Now we'll see it's ready to go and it says connect streaming software to start preview. Then we'll go back to our core app, select YouTube. It'll ask us if core has permission to use YouTube. Yep. Then we will select our account. We'll arrive on this page and under events, it will say no events selected. We'll click on that and then we can select our video go stream that we created earlier and hit add. 
So now that we can see both of our channels are in here ready to go, right now they're just in core. So now what we'll need to do is connect them specifically to our video go encoder. So we're gonna bring up our menu navigation and select dashboard. So when you select dashboard, you'll see these two tabs, default and video go. So these are workspaces. We created the video go workspace for a prior project. So when you go into this window, don't expect to see the video go tab. You'll just see the default. We'll go ahead and select our video go tab. So here we can see the video go in core. And you'll notice this go live button here isn't highlighted as an option. And that's because we haven't set our destinations. So we'll need to do that next. So we're going to select destinations and then hit the little plus on the side of channels here. We'll select both of those and add them. Now we'll see that both of our channels here are ready to go. So if we hit go live, both of those will go live right away. We can also toggle them individually to make only one go live, depending on our needs. Uh, we're gonna hit go live. We'll see on our OLED display that it's starting and we're live. And then if we check our app, we can see that both feeds are live as well. We'll jump back over to YouTube. We can see from our preview that we're live here as well. And something to keep in mind is that every CDN is different. So make sure that you familiarize yourself with every CDN you're gonna be using before you start your live stream. For example, in YouTube, you have to manually start the live stream. Now that we're up and running on YouTube, we'll go back over to our iPad, we'll open up Facebook, check our feed, and as we can clearly see, we are live. Sweet. So now we'll smash that heart button because we love our live stream. And that's an in-depth look in the process of streaming to multiple platforms on your video go to get your content out to your viewers.